everybody, it's Andy McNamara from Fox City's Core on Code Zero Radio. I'm up in Green Bay at Jasper Guitars. I'm up here for their shop gigs. Today is number seven with Dennis Shepard. We're going to go inside. We're going to talk to Tony and some of the other people that make this possible. If you can't make it up here tonight for the shop gig, you can watch it on YouTube. We'll tell you how to do that in just a little bit. I'm here with Tony Lusher at Jasper Guitars, and you recently celebrated 50 years in the guitar business. Uh, it's amazing that it's uh, the, the time has gone by so fast, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it truly is 50 years, yep. Is there anything in the industry that you have not yet accomplished that you would like to accomplish? There's, you know, within Jasper, uh, there's there's so many things that are still on the table for us. Uh, uh, the the base, of course, that we have uh, a short scale uh, base that uh, is just uh, probably weeks away from uh, from being launched. Uh, we have the project with um, with uh, Paul Hanna has been kind of spearheading uh, this project for uh, an acoustic electric guitar that is called the Fillmore. And uh, we're just inches away on that. Th those are two huge uh, lanes for us, I believe. Uh, but uh, and then, of course, uh, one of the big deals for um, for all of the Jasper guitars is going to be a tremolo unit that we can uh, just uh, plug and play. It really, virtually, uh, with very little um, retrofitting, we can actually uh, put a trem in, and it'll still uh, work with the the patented. Uh, uh, um, device that we have. We call it a device because I haven't been able to figure out <laughs> what we want to actually want to call it yet. So. And you've got a couple uh, Jaspers at the Epic Center. Yes, that's been a really uh, nice uh, um, relationship uh, with them. It started out when, um, you know, we were kind of wondering uh, with all the musicians that are coming into town from all over uh, the world and, uh, and uh, the United States that, you know, we have a nice uh, f facility here. Uh, it's bigger than some uh, major boutique uh, uh, manufacturers, and uh, so it, it just made sense that you know if somebody wants to get on a uh, you know in a um, shuttle van or something like this and come on over and then see the place, that just kind of made sense. Uh, that's how the whole relationship started. It's kind of you know t uh, I guess uh, plug into that that crowd, uh, and that just grew from uh, from that to. Uh, really having all of our guitars within the uh, green rooms, uh, classy outfit, uh, the uh, the uh, epic people, and uh, so yeah, it's it's been p uh, paying off in, in spades for us. I'm here with Dennis Shepard. Are you excited to to play a shop gig today? I am. Yeah, it's uh, we've been rehearsing for a while. It's a lot of fun. How did you get involved with playing a Jasper guitar? Like, what what drew you to it? I met. You know, I, I had lived here for quite a while in the 90s and never really met Tony. And then I came up to the shop and we kind of had some mutual friends and just we kind of hit it off. And he said, I'm building these guitars. You should come and check them out. And I checked it out and it kind of blew me away. I just had just come off an injury and he let me take one of the Manas home with me. Like, and I, I remember, you know, I was sitting there playing it kind of acoustically at home and just was blown away by how dynamic it was and I was like hey this sounds cool you know it kind of came along at the right time when I was re rehabilitating and and then he built me a custom one so that's I've been awesome. using that with Steely Dane so, so Steely um, Dane has, has been a, a band that you've been playing with for quite a while and you have a, a solo album that's out right now or it's coming out you're recording it I've got like I release a tune every once in a while, you know, it's like... I, I saw you were doing some recording at Rock Garden Studio yeah. recently. So that project I'm going in Sunday to do guitars on, kind of hopefully finish up guitars on. It's the thing that you just heard us play it through. It sounded excellent, it's by the way. It's got a bunch of different sections. It's kind of a, a thing that I started developing after I got injured because I could and, and literally only play some open string things. And, like, so the whole thing was... An, eventually turned into sort of an exercise it's, it's a pretty gnarly story if, if people want to hear the full story with uh, they should check out in the music which is a, a podcast you recently did with karen yeah, for yeah. jasper but yeah but it's uh, it sounds like a pretty gnarly yeah it was gnarly how did you assemble this band and tonight are you going to be playing a mix of originals and, and covers or yeah okay. yep i think we're doing four originals and a few covers 
Um, the band I've been playing with Chris Hannaway, you know, since the '90s. We're like brothers, you know. We've been old. We're old friends. Um, I've been listening to his bass playing during the soundtrack. He's pretty solid. Yeah, he's solid. <laughs> um, so we go way back. Adam, I met just who I don't even remember who I met Adam through, but heard him drumming at a gig, and just went up and talked to him and was like, "You're my favorite drummer," <laughs> you know. So then, I just I use him on the stuff that I record. Uh, there's a song called Hearts or Hand Grenades that I did that he played drums on. So now every time I write a new song, I, I get him on it. Um, Dave Adler is actually the Steely musical Dane. director for Steely Dane, the leader, our fearless leader. So you're pretty comfortable with this group of guys. And yeah. And yeah. They, they, it's like a bunch of great musicians plus me. How, how much rehearsal did you do for tonight's show? You just listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? How do you think it's going to go? No, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's I'm less nervous now, actually, because that's why I called each of these guys, because they're, I knew they'd show up and prepared, you know. Um, so up on the way driving here, I'm going, what are we doing? What am I <laughs> doing? Oh, my God, right? And then we played the first tune, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, great, it's on. Let's, let's relax and have some fun. And here they are. Here, well, here's right Dave here. Adler and uh, Adam Hatton. I'm here with Karen Ailish. She is the marketing director and like a lot of other things here at Jasper Guitars. Was it your idea to do the shop gigs? It's actually, it, it came from Bruce Petros, actually. He used to do shop gigs out at his place in Hollandtown. And so when we moved into this building, it just seemed like a great place. We had the room to do it. So we're just, we're, we've uh, been doing it since August and it's been just building. A great way to showcase Jasper guitars and how great they sound. And I'm sure it's been, this is shop gig seven tonight. Mm -hmm. And it has it been sort of a learning experience going through the process of, of putting this all together. Every shop gig is a learning <laughs> experience, but you know, the one thing that, that we've really uh, come from this is that we've learned that this room that we play in is ideal for a gig. As far as the the talent coming in here, you're bringing in some great people from like Dennis is from the Madison area. Right. Somebody that's never attended a show here, obviously it's a little late if they're watching this to get up here. They can watch it on YouTube, which I'd hopefully right. you have some info on that. But if they want to attend in person in the future, how would you suggest they go about like maybe liking a page or, or going somewhere to find out what the schedule is right we post them um, uh, we post our our shop gig announcements on Facebook and on uh, Instagram so if you follow us on on social media um, our on both Facebook Instagram YouTube odyssey.com we're at Jasper guitar company LLC